Hello everybody, my name is Aquilas and welcome back to Terraria the tutorial playthrough where I give you tips, advice and guides on how to beat the game the easy way. Today we got ourselves episode number 13 as far as I remember, I think it's 13. And today I will look into the Old Ones Army event. This event can be spawned from this guy I'm going to show you, the Tavern Keep. To get the Tavern Keep you have to defeat uh, either the Brain of Cthulhu or the Eater of Worlds, since, you know, it's uh, both the Crimson or the Corruption Biome specific um, boss mob. So, you know, Eater of Worlds for Corruption and uh, the Brain of Cthulhu for the Crimson. And once you defeat one of them, this guy will spawn uh, pretty much anywhere in your world. You will just see him laying on the ground, you talk to him, he goes into your houses. And now what you want to do is what you want to do uh, press on the Eternia Crystal button. I think I've already pressed on it, actually. And on the shop, what you have to buy is the Etern um, Eternia Crystal Stand and the Eternia Crystal. This is going to be used to play the event. And also, um, there should be Defender Medals. Uh, those things are used to buy uh, specific items for the event. For example, you know, turrets, cosmetics, there we are. Defender Medals, five already claimed them previously. So, what I want to buy myself now is go to shop, and there are different special rods. Currently, they can only be used uh, in the event. I cannot just use them outside the, uh, this event. So, the, my my recommendation is, there's the flame burst, ballista, explosive, and lightning, whatever. Ballista to me is just awesome. I'm going to buy the ballista rod instead. It's like the best one, I, I would say. So, now how this uh, event works is... It's very basic, you know. Uh, you have to find yourself a very flat area. For example, I'm going to pick this one. I think it should be good enough. Um, yeah, this should be good enough. I don't know. Let's actually cut down some trees and we will see. So, cut down some trees to make it uh, better. And now what I want to do is I want to put a bunch of torches all around. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, that's, that's not enough space. Uh, maybe I'll try to make it in... Uh, to have this event in here. Right here, because that's the NPC, so if the portal spawns around here, I think this should be good enough. Maybe. So this is the Eternia Crystal Stand, also want to remove the Sunflower, just place it in here, and now this one is used to summon the um, Aetherius Portal, so the Old Ones Army event. And also this is very unique, it's a very unique event, because there's a couple of tiers of it. So first of all, there's got, there's uh, tier 1, 2, and 3, and um, the, uh, the more bosses you kill, uh, the, uh, the higher the tier is. So, for example, currently I might think I'm a tier 1. So, first of all, uh, uh, the second F uh, tier is uh, triggered by defeating a mechanical boss, so that's like the hard mode stuff, and the third one is after the golem, so that's like really far away into the future. So let's actually try to do ourselves... Um, how do I spawn this? There we go! I've got the Aetherian mana. So I'm going to place... Uh, oh, there's the portal. I'm going to place the Ballista here. And now I'm just going to defend everything. So there's uh, the first mob. The Aetherian Goblin, as you can see, this is the mob. And also I'll make this area very flat for the future um, uh, farming. Because this event, well, it doesn't give you a lot of interesting loot, in my opinion. But it's still very, very nice. It's really enjoyable to play. Uh, it, it has this, like, a very, it's very unique, because enemies don't spawn randomly on your screen, they actually spawn in their designated spaces. Also, I'm going to place another ballista in here. Somewhere around here, come on. Oh yeah, you need 10. And you need to protect this Eternia Crystal, as you can see it has 1000 HP, and... What? Our club here is killing the, uh, the enemies for us, that's so cool. Okay, so we got 16 of the uh, Aetherian mana, and it's used to summon more of these towers, so I'm going to place another one here uh, to defend that area. And uh, once the event is over, you, uh, this uh, mana will disappear, so you cannot just collect them. But if you put them in the chest, and you do not open the chest, uh, you know, during normal play, outside the event, you can actually keep the mana. It's a very simple trick, I might make a small tutorial of it on it, you know, separ separate video on it on the channel. I don't know, so also you cannot build, you get a debuff called Creative Shock, so you can just build walls and, you know, whatever. So that's that for you. Oh yeah, we can place third ballista. I wanted to place three ballistas on one side to make a totally overkill setup. So, you know, no mobs can go through. 
No enemies, no nothing. So it's a very basic event. Uh, mobs spawn from uh, two portals on the either side. And, well, you gotta kill all of them. Once you do that, you get some loot, you know. Um, the enemies drop the loot, of course. And, well, it's pretty basic. As you can see, we got the uh, even better enemies right now, which is... Oh, what hard. Four bullets, that's super cool. Very, very cool. Seriously, though, this is an overkill setup, in my opinion. But, you know, whatever. I don't care. Still good. Alright. More mobs on this side. So it's a pretty, pretty basic event. Uh, current mob uh, mobs are very simple. There's nothing special. There's like I think there's a dark mage. As of now, dark mage is a enemy that drops uh, one of the more interesting items from this event. Since I have ten of these uh, Therian mana, I will place another here. There we go. We've got a Therian goblin, goblin bomber, javelin thrower. So I can actually just stand like I don't know here. And do nothing. Because this ballista is doing a lot of work. It does all the heavy heavy lifting and also all of these ballistas, there's like four of them. So yeah, it's I'm pretty well defended. But later, in later uh, events, this is going to be quite difficult. Uh, not events, but tears. We got nine, I need one more. Okay, let's just go cut through all of these guys with more massa sword. There we go. Cool. Let's place another ballista rod on this side. There we go. We got two of them now. Anyways, I'll make this area and this entire area here flat, so it's going to be, you know, easier to farm the event. Because currently, well, it's not as easy because, you know, area isn't flat, so... Oh, we dropped the uh, defender medal. So I can get these defender medals from the portal, uh, from the crystal itself, just, you know, playing the event. Oh, we got four. I'm just going to place another one here. And this is pretty much what it is. And uh, you can see there's this wave uh, icon thingy. Nothing special with this event, I would say. Until you reach about tier 2. In tier 3, this event is awesome. Love it. There's a lot of stuff with it. You know, you can do... Uh, loot is insanely awesome. But it's, it's a pretty basic event. Nothing to say. <laughs> I, I said this 20 times before, but it really is. Oh, nice. Some flying enemies now. More of a challenge. As you can see, they're attacking the portal because they're uh, not the portal, but the crystal because they're fast and they can evade the ballistas. So they're not perfect. Let's get to mana. There we go. There's another one coming. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Oh, nice, another one. There's quite a bit of those guys. Oh, they're breaking through the ballistas. As you can see, there's so many of them. I'm going to place one ballista in here just for you know guarding against the flying enemies. As you can see, this guy is flying and the ballista is shooting at him, but very inaccurately because ballistas are very slow, but they do a very, very nice amount of damage. So I've got to defend the crystal myself against the flying enemies. And another wave is defeated. I think there's like 7 8 or something in this current tier, tier 1. Can't wait to reach tier 2. It's going to be really great, I, I can say safely. Yeah, I, I can guarantee it's going to be awesome. There's going to be a, a lot of interesting loot. Let's place another ballista here, another one here. So we got five on this side, one in the middle, and four on that side. Or maybe five, five, actually. There should be dark mages very soon. Or maybe in this, uh... There we go. Dark mage. Dark mages are coming, people. Dark mages are coming. Oh, there we go, that's the dark mage. 800 health. That's quite a bit, actually. As you can see, summoning, uh, you know, he's making summons, which is quite bad. I'm just going to use the water bolt here in this situation and also place another ballista around me. Be why can't? Oh no, mana! God damn it! Yeah, the water bolt is really using the my mana up. What did I get from him? Oh, what happened? Oh, he finished the event. There we go. I think, maybe. Yeah, I finished the event and I get three defender medals, five in total. I can buy another defense for myself, which is really awesome. So now I'm going to make this area flat and we're going to try again because I didn't get any loot out of this event, which is quite sad, but Dark Mages, they, they can drop something cool, you know. They've, they've got some stuff, mainly decorations, but really nice decorations. So I will try again and uh, I can actually buy something else. So there's the Flame Burst, Explosive Trap and Lightning Aura. Ten... I'm just going to get this one. 
This one will uh, give me this ability to make these kind of areas where enemies constantly taking damage. So they're going to be good against the flying enemies. Now I'm going to make this entire area flat uh, by using this as a guide. So for example, it sits at this, uh, you know, level. So I'm just going to dig like this. Oh boy, it's a gold bloody bunny. Come on, 10 gold. Easy. Oh, that is rare. So there's, as you may know, as I've told you before in the previous episodes, there are these golden critters. And they are very nice because you can actually place them in the display cases or if you want you can just sell them for 10 gold Which is what I'm going to do and I just did because why not? So look out for them if you have uh, Did I just did I place them? Yes, I did. Uh, so as you can see I have uh, the life form analyzer So it shows me any rare enemies and mobs and whatever any rare creatures So the gold bunny gold critters whatever they're considered rare and it shows you, to, uh, and um, this uh, life form analyzer shows uh, them to you, so that's pretty cool. Also, another awesome thing that I want to do, I'll finish this later, doesn't matter. As you can see, I have 30 dynamite, and you may think why. Well, you see, I don't like this hill. It is, uh, I don't know. It's, it's very out of place, in my opinion, so you know what? Dynamite. You know what? Dynamite. You know what? Dynamite. Also, need to make some sticky dynamite. I'm rich anyway, so, you know. There we go. We got 19. Dynamite. 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 You can destroy stuff very easily with the dynamite. I love it. It gives you this kind of a creative ability. Because to remove this mountain by hand, it would take a long time. But with dynamite, it's easy. And also, I, I wanted to kill the zombie. That would be very cool. But it uh, doesn't matter. We're, st we're still going for it. So, destroy this, and this, and also just want to destroy- Oh, 50 de demonized killed, that's pretty cool. So I think it should be enough, come on. Come on, demonai! Ah, I wanted to kill the de demonai, that would be very cool. Also, if you can, kill the all of the demon eyes until you get uh, the black lens. As you may know, there is this normal lens, and there is the black lens, which is extremely rare um, to get from the demon eyes, and it is- um, I always use it to craft uh, the twins, um, I think it's uh, called, how's it called, minion summon thingy that you get in hard mode. So always look out for the demon eyes and kill them and try to get yourself the black lens. As you can see, there's a demon eye, kill it, well, nothing sadly, but still, anyways, it's pretty damn awesome to get that. So now this area is kind of uh, more flat, there's no more random kill. Which is really nice, and I'm going to finish off this entire place, make it nice and flat and light it up, place fireplaces, build a good place to fight bosses or, and you know, events, whatever. So for all of that, if you want, if you can, please build yourself a nice flat area, you know, so you, it's easier to dodge attacks and just, you know, do all, all sorts of uh, boss and event related stuff. Now we got ourselves a very nice flat area to fight bosses, events, whatever. Also, it's a very nice place to farm slime. And, oh, what's, what, what do you have? Ah, it's just a coin. So, as you can see, this is our entrance to caves. It used to be, you know, like this kind of a cave thingy. But, uh, you know, this... I don't know. But uh, today, we've, I fixed it and we've got this kind of a hole. It's nice, easy, simple, you know, just get here. Past the platform and welcome to the caves. I can, you know, mine stuff in there and, then, you know, the cave stuff. But now I'm going to try at this event once again. I want to try my uh, amazing agile lightning aura rod. So let's get our Eternia crystal here, place it. Uh, oh, I've walked past it. So, Old One's army once again. And I'm going to use this ballista rod right now, place it in here. As you can see, portal is just on the side here. And also, it is just on the side here, as you can see, right next to my um, little village town. You know, it's, it's actually town. Officially, it is called town. So I'm going to go through with these uh, first events until the Dark Mage arrives. Dark Mage is the main guy, in my opinion. You know, you have to look out for him. He drops the most loot in these uh, tier 1 events. So let's just grab the mana, I need more of it, thank you, I'm going to place this, so this is how this works, as you can see it creates this kind of a, you know, place where it just simply does damage to people over time, you know, to the mobs, let's just shoot these guys, get the mana, or the Eternian mana, that's right, 
and let's actually six. Oh, nice wave completed. So I'm, I'm just going to blaze through the first four uh, waves until we get ourselves to wave five, where we can see the dark mage. And I'm about to enter wave five. So I have this kind of a real nice setup. So there's this uh, lining aura, uh, which does damage over time to her ballistas. There's one here to prevent the flying douchebags to enter my beautiful crystal and destroy it. You know, the area of my crystal. And also there is the, another uh, another one of these, uh, how's this called? The Lightning Aura. Damn it, I'm stupid. And there is the Ballistas. I'm also going to place one more Ballista on the other side, you know, just for defense. So there's three of them now, and also my support. I'm, I'm, all, I'm usually on the side, just, you know, healing off them with Sword. So yeah, that's that. I'll, I really want to get some stuff from Dark Mages. Seriously, those guys are awesome. They give you some really interesting items. You know, nothing spectacular, but still, doesn't matter. The douchebag is dead. Let's see how's stuff going on that side. Maybe there's a dark mage. And there is! Goddamn, let's kill this guy before he does a lot of bad stuff to me. Come on. He has 800, which is quite a bit, actually, of HP. But he's going down, and he is dead. Oh, got his mask! Okay, we got the first item that the Dark Mage actually drops, which is his mask, which is very nice. It's nothing special. There's the Flying Douchebag, as you can see, he gets uh, he uh, gets damage in that, which is kind of nice. We're going to place two Ballista Rods on uh, both of the sides to defend against the Flying people. And let's get all the mana, let's get another Ballista in there. And let's see if there's more stuff from the Dark Mage. Nothing. Oh, the event's over again. I've got the mask, which is kind of cool, I guess. And that's it. And we get more Defender Medals. We got five now, which is pretty damn nice. I'm going to buy even more stuff from the Tower Keep. So Tower Keep's here. Shop, so there is some more stuff that I can buy. I can get, uh, get either the Explosive Trap Rod or the Flame Burst Rod. So there's the Average Speed Tower. Um... I don't know, I'll just get the Flame Burst Rod, this is more interesting, but I guess it's actually enough for you today, because I showed you more than enough about this event, what it does, how to prepare for it, the arenas that you need, it's pretty basic to loot, uh, to loot about the loot situation, actually. Uh, at first, you won't get much stuff, but later you're going to be swimming in stuff. Seriously, I'm, I'm talking about real nice stuff, because as of now, uh, the only thing that I got is this ma mask, as you can see, it looks kind of weird, there we go. You know, the Dark Mage Mask, it's pretty basic, simple, uh, you know, simple mask. But later you're going to meet a lot of new enemies and it's going to be way better. I'm going to do every single tier of this event, I'm going to grind this event to get all the items to show, the, to show them to you, if I can, even if I have time. I think I'm going to try to actually farm this event. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then please leave a like down below, it really helps my channel out. And if you want to see more videos like this, of Nautica, Minecraft, you know, Terraria tutorials and whatever, then please leave, leave a subscribe and of course press on that little bell button to get all the notifications about my upcoming videos. My name is Aqualas, I wish you very good luck and I'll see you soon.